All three Steckler boys have been students here at Ottoman Community Schools. Now as the youngest Mason continues to recover, students and staff are grieving the loss of Jameson and Gavin through the help of counselors. Gavin and uh, Jameson uh, both very involved with athletics and, and music and stuff here at this building. A somber feeling inside this school Monday as the community tries to process the loss of 14-year-old Jameson Steckler and his brother, 11-year-old Gavin. The, the Steckler boys were, were boys. I mean, they were fun-loving uh, leaders, I would think, in their classes. Meantime, their brother Mason, a fourth grader, and parents Toby and Pam are recovering from the crash Saturday. The Iowa State Patrol says the family's minivan was hit by a semi that crossed the median on I-80. It's been a hard, hard few days. Courtney Walter, a counselor for the school district, says dozens of students and staff members are using the crisis management team. They want to know details of the accident and how the whole family is doing. They are very, very well known. They've been very involved in the community. They're, they're a wonderful family. Pastor Doug Opp says hundreds of people have been stopping by to pray at Our Savior's Lutheran Church, where Pam works as the office manager. We shed a lot of tears, we hugged a lot, <laughs> but we proclaimed the good news that God is still here and there to help. The superintendent tells me students are submitting ideas on what they'd like to do to honor Jameson and Gavin. What can be posted as soon as something is scheduled. In Ottoman, Chindone, KETV, Newswatch 7.